So it's finally time to do a video where we are cloning OneDrive to another. And we're going to be using Western Digital's Acronis software. It's actually really good. Welcome back to Tech Yes City, ladies and gentlemen. This is Brian coming back to you guys today with a quick tutorial on how to clone a drive from one to another. Now, the reasons you might want to do this can vary anything from a hard drive that's on its way out and its performance is lackluster and you want to keep your whole OS the way it is and you want to save a lot of time or you're just simply upgrading to an SSD or in my case, you're actually downgrading from an SSD to a hard drive because you want to sell the selected rig. Uh, and that's what I'm doing. So I don't want to keep this SSD because it's really good. Anyway, that being said, we're going to get a program called Western Digital Acronis Software. And it's a free download and it's very easy to use. So let's get on with the tutorial anyway. So the first thing you will want to do is head over to the website, Western Digital's website, where you can download the Acronis True Image Western Digital Edition software. I'll put the link in the description below so you can just directly go there and get it. You will need a Western Digital hard drive in order to use this software, and it is 260 megabytes in file size. So if you've got slow internet, keep that in mind that it might take a little bit of time to download though it's got different languages there so if you prefer another language you can choose that as well but after you've downloaded it you can then begin to install the program now quickly before we begin the installation i will say make sure you copy all your important files off the destination drive that's the drive that you're copying all your information to so make sure you do this before you start cloning Okay, so now we can start installing the software. So you just pretty much double click on it, click yes, and then click install and just also accept the license agreement, click next, click next again, and then click proceed. And the install takes a while, uh, even on pretty fast computers as well. So keep that in mind and we'll just quickly skip to it being installed. Uh, and then after you've installed it, I will stress though quickly, make sure that you have backed up all the files on the drive that you're copying the software to. However, that being said, let's move on now. So it's pretty much easy. Once you've installed the software, open it up and there's an option there called clone disk and you just click on that. So we just click on clone disk, bang, automatic. It's easy. Automatic is actually really good. Uh, it gets everything right from the get go. So since this is a tutorial as well, I'm just going to be recommending automatic. And so you just click next and then we're on to the next section here where we will pretty much be today, as I said in the intro, I will be copying my SSD. So the SSD is actually the OS drive. So that's the source disk. So this is the one where your OS is installed on. So this is currently your source. So you just select that, which was the crucial SSD. And then we want to copy it to the Western Digital One terabyte drive. And that's the destination drive. This is the drive that I've backed up. And so for this step, I will have to get off desktop recording software and I'll have to move over to my camera now to the, for the next step. So now that we've backed up all our data from our destination disk, uh, we can then proceed. So basically this next part, it will get it ready to clone. And so you can see here that it's got the drive ready. So it's got my hard disk drive. Yes, I'm copying, I'm cloning my SSD to my hard disk drive, as I said in the intro, uh, though it's probably not a common thing. And as you can see here, the software pretty much gets it all ready for you. It will actually fill out the drive as well. So it'll fill out all the data, uh, make a bigger petition since the SSD is only 256 gigs compared to the hard drive, which is one terabyte. It's going to clone that SSD to the hard drive and then it's going to fill out the rest of that space on the same petition. So if you have a smaller drive that you're cloning to, just keep in mind that you might run into some problems. Though as we can see here, the software is pretty much restarting. It's going to go through all the paces of cloning the disk. And that's about all there is to it. So it's a really easy to use program. It's really good, really simple, and it works perfectly as well. So I've cloned two, two times now and it's worked both times flawlessly. So anyway, with that being said, let's move on now to a conclusion. So in conclusion, that's all there is to it. Very easy. It's pretty much a few clicks of a button. Though one thing, keep in mind, 
that the destination drive, make sure you pull all your important files off it first. I go to keep stressing that. And another thing is too, you may wish to uh, install chipset drivers, reinstall chipset drivers and graphics card drivers. That's up to you. That's something that I like to do personally, just to make sure everything's working perfectly. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, then drop a comment in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Peace out for now. Bye. For the environment. And so today I'm going to try some real world conditions, touch these parts and see if the computers, or uh, well, the computer still boots up. So first up here we have the Seagate hard drive. So I'm just going to quickly charge myself, put it in the computer, see if it